Hi everyone so today i have an amazing video that is how you can convert any of the workflows into your custom front end basically we are using the comfy ui as a back end and we are creating our own front end uh, for using the comfy ui right so you can put the prompts you can generate image and don't worry i'll show uh, i'll put some other input boxes and show how to connect it with the back end so whatever things you need i have provided it here you can see on my github and the web sockets and everything are already done and i'll get back to it the one thing that you would need is that for example you can see i am using vs code so in vs code what you can do is that go to terminal and you can install tailwind css and nextjs you can also use react basically it's the same thing whether you use nextjs or reactjs it's the same thing other than that now I'll don't worry you may see a lot of code here but everything is pretty simple like these things you do not need even need to touch these like you would keep this uh, as it is you just need to make change some changes here and I'll explain everything in this video Firstly you need to come to comfy ui one thing that you need to do is here in the settings you can see the dev mode is on so this is something very important we need because we get the option save api format and this is very important now you would build your uh, workflow how you normally use comfy you can provide loras and anything that you want i have kept it very simple because i want to show you and explain everything so once this is done just clone the repo right and you would see there is this src folder this is the comfy ui web ui and here you will find the src folder in the src folder there are two things that you need to keep in mind in components there is api.js now you do not need to touch anything here i'll just uh, explain uh, the overall thing we are basically creating a web socket and a queue prompt and from here everything is same the only thing is you have to change whatever port you are using this would generally be add 188 if you have the port as something else change it here that's it you can close it you do not need anything second thing that we need to change is the page.js and here you can see we are importing already importing this web socket queue prompt that was present in api.js so done and i'll explain these things but uh, for now the only thing that you do not need to touch is the use effect so what it is doing is that basically you can see and here if you have different port just change the port it can be if you have 8000 so put like that so essentially what it is doing is that it is taking uh, like uh, from the web socket you can see it is checking whether the message has been executed the image data and it is taking the first one zero means the first element and from there you can see it is taking the image url now one thing that you would notice when we go here and if i select open image you can see there is this uh, 8188 api view then there is this file name comfy ui 0006 and everything here right so we are basically making this dynamic that it will automatically take the image data file name the image file name and according to that create the whole url and we are uh, setting this url to generated image and i'll come why what these two things are and set is loading is now false right now one thing that you need to understand if you are not familiar with react or next js when you see there are two things use effect this part means that uh, whenever you are running the particular app this part will be executed and generally what happens it as is in this uh, array if you put any variable or any like state whenever that state or variable changes it will run again and again and again so this is use effect use state is the easiest thing but the most important thing that you would come across in front end development so what we do is that this is just how we write we take const 
first one you can uh, think of it as a variable and second one is a function that is setting this variable you cannot directly put steps equal to 5 so we use set steps and when we write this equals to use state 20 if we are putting null then in uh, like at the beginning there is nothing in the generated image but if we are putting something like 20 that means steps the default value of steps is 20 and whenever we put set steps as maybe 25 it will change now if we can put text we can put uh, numbers we can put anything and null means nothing is there till now we can change it later on so here you can see in ws uh, state it is uh, at this beginning it is null and then we are doing like set ws state ws connection you do not need to do anything in here i am just trying to explain you guys how u state works and why this would be important here you can see when we get the image url we are using this set generate image image url this complete url and now generated image is this complete url this is how we are setting now we need to come down here you can see there is handle generate image async just means that uh, when there is a communication with, uh, between some kind of socket like uh, something we will send something and we will receive something we put async because we are generally waiting for the reply from the server as well and here these are very basic things you do not need we are just checking whether there is any kind of uh, connection or not so obviously when you are running uh, this particular front end this one you also need your comfy ui to be open because if it is not open there will be an error other than that now what we are doing remember it like this and why it will come in handy later on basically when we are starting to generate one image handle generate image we are setting is loading to true that is this variable the state is initially it is false because nothing is being generated but the moment we are starting to generate something we are setting it to true and that will help us because when we are generating we will disable the button and we will have some kind of an indicator and the set generated image is null because once the image is starting to generate, we do not need them to show the previous generated image. This is the most important part of this video. Here you can see there is const workflow and from here, you can go till the end, till this part, right? Here you can see, we need to put this whole JSON. So basically what is happening is that whenever we create a workflow and save API format, we are creating a JSON of everything that is present here. So you do not need to have this particular workflow open. Like if you clear all of this, even then it would work. You just need your Comfy UI to be running. Right. And with that, you need to copy all of it and paste it here whatever now if you cha make changes in the workflow with some lora you can do that as well now after that some things that you see is that are hard coded like cfg1 you can see the scheduler beta uh, sampler name euler everything is in json but the interesting thing what we have done is that in the steps because let's come here you can see we can vary the steps so i'll put 12 what are the things that you want uh, like that you want the user to be able to set so you have to give the user the options so i have chosen the prompt obviously and the steps you can put anything that can be scheduler that can be sampler anything here you can see i have not changed euler or sampler these are hard coded all it would always be euler beta but for steps what we did is that I created a different use state, set steps and steps. And because the initial use state is 20, whenever you load this, you'll always see that uh, let's refresh this. And you can see the steps will always be 20 when you refresh it because I have given a value default value of 20. And I am using this variable here as steps. And uh, because now in the code, whenever we use set steps to change the steps, it will automatically change in this particular workflow. 
and the another thing that we are using is prompt this is the same logic completely same logic prompt set prompt use state and we are uh, putting an empty string here now where do we make the changes right so here what i'm going to do is you will come to here anything that is in the return is basically the front end part this would uh, this you would find very similar to html if you have not previously worked with react or next years this is uh, very similar to html and these things in class name is called tailwind so basically what we are doing is that we are not making any changes using css to create the look we are putting the class names different class names and it will inherit the properties so flex and flex column it is creating it uh, in flexbox when we are giving px48 it is providing padding in the x uh, axis for 48 so this is what we are doing right and you do not need to change this much you can learn about this uh, and you can also take the help of uh, chat gpt or perplexity to create these codes that is not the main part what we are doing here is that the form so let's go back again here this part is basically the form and here the image will appear right now you can see the first input that we get the value is prompt that means and here it is the set prompt so on change what is happening is that when we are changing anything like i will put a dog right so the moment we changed this on change it is going to set prompt e target value so that means whatever the change we put in the input box the set prompt passes that particular value so we put the prompt as a dog now the set prompt here means a dog and the prompt becomes a dog and the value means what is being shown in the input box so the input box is showing us a dog it is the same thing as uh, the set prompt is going through now after that type is text these are pretty same things placeholder is when there is no uh, value or you have not typed anything what will it show so this has become now prompt and now because the set prompt has already set the prompt as a dog you can see we can directly put it here the text becomes a prompt because this is uh, this works as a variable basically this is a state but uh, like uh, for easier reference if you don't know it is more like a variable it is working as a variable secondly we are doing the same thing div here you can see we are showing as steps and this is the variable it will be showing the number of steps in the input box this is actually type is range here you can see the type was text there are many types of input you can look into it this is a slider and we'll be going to 14 right and here you can see the type is range minimum is 5 maximum is 50 because we do not want to give uh, the option to the people to set the steps as 200 right so i would be giving maximum of 50 and because i know anything below the 5 would not work so that's why i have put you can change any of these things here you can see again on change set steps e target value so what is happening is that whatever you are dragging this particular value will directly go through set steps and set the step as the exact step that we chose now because again and i know the video is being a little bit lengthy because i am trying to explain as much as possible so the steps now we has become what has it become 25 right so i'll do this 12 the moment i left this this has actually become the steps has actually become 12 it is not 20 20 was the initial value and now it will be inherited here the steps right we did that and everything else is same one thing that i would like to show you is that remember that we were uh, selecting is loading as true or false so the button that you see disabled equal to is loading whether it is true or false so because initially we have false is loading so the button that we will be seeing here this button right so this button is the generate image button this is not disabled because disabled e e equals to false but the moment we will click on the button and it will start generating till the moment it is not again becoming false here you can see the set loading becomes true once the handle generate image starts working 
and till then when it is not generated and again becomes false the button will be disabled so people cannot click again and again this is how i am using the generate function and with the same way you can see you can see here that uh, the image has been generated again with the 12 steps right and this is the same thing you can go on again and again and i'll generate again you can see this particular indication and the button is being disabled so here again you can see that we have uh, created this image and everything was working in the back end there is no changes in confi ui but it runs in the back end and we are getting this so this is the thing now one thing that i would like to do is that here you can see i will uh, i commented uh, this out and i i have two inputs here one for width one for height here you can see there are no set width and set height till now but i'll create some of them so what you can do is that const and then we do the same thing with height and i'll change this to 1024 and here i'll change it to see and with this what happened is that the uh, default values are 1024 now here if you come you have to look where we are providing the width and height so see there are width and height here we'll change this and we'll just give as width here i'll give height right and i'll save it so when i did that here you can see there are width and height yeah one thing that i overlooked was that here in the value i was providing the string but it would be that state so it is pretty similar to what we were doing previously with prompt it is the same thing you can see it is actually the same thing and now when we come back here you can see there is like i'll refresh it width and height so i can give anything i'll try to do is that 768 and 1024 and here i'll give dog and i'll start generating image so you you can see that uh, the generation is complete and the dimensions have changed so this was the width this was the height and the dimensions have changed right so with this particular logic you can change anything you can put a drop down and you can change the samplers here you can choose eula beta anything like that so you can put any number of inputs generate anything this was a very like basic concept and the goal is i would if i get like uh, good interaction on this particular video i would actually think of making a complete clone of ideogram or mid journey so yeah uh, whatever you feel about this video mention it in the comments below and i'll try to reply as soon as possible if you have any kind of doubts or anything so all of these links will be in the description box uh, below don't worry about it yeah thank you